guys. Thanks for watching. God bless you all. I wanted to come on today and, and speak about prayer. Prayer in a family and prayer between a husband and wife. Is your house a house of prayer? As for me and my, my house, we will serve the Lord. You know, all these videos that I'm putting out, they're, they're coming from personal experiences. I'm not just what you'd call a, you know, armchair quarterback and armchair lawyer. I'll put myself on the front lines, you know, dealing with the enemy, dealing with, with life situations and coming through with the word of God. Anyone wants to tell me that prayer doesn't work, that God doesn't hear prayers, you know, they're just kidding themselves. I've experienced so many answered prayers, you know, praise the Lord, it, it's, he's just so amazing. And when you're living, living a godly life, doing what's right in the eyes of the Lord, and you know having having answered prayers is part of your christian walk you know you have not because you ask not the lord says and everything is yes and amen according to his will now i've got some examples of, of you know praying together with my wife i pray all the time with my wife i pray together with my family every time we're together you know whether it be you know of course breakfast lunch and dinner you know we'll be in prayer in the nighttime prayers and you'll see the statistics that I'll put up in a moment. You know, the, the church now, I think, I think it was, the study was done, or the survey was done in America, the Gallup poll, that the, the church, the divorce rate's the same as in the church as it is in the secular world, until you come across those, those couples that pray together. Then, then you'll see the statistics. So I'll, I'll show you those later on. You know, I, I've been back with the Lord for, for four years now. And um, you know, my wife, she was she was brought up in a in a Buddhist household. My my in-laws, they're Buddhists. And um, I've mentioned before that we live in the same house together. Um, it was just last week where my, my three-year-old daughter, she she got some like stomach flu or a, or gastro, and that stuff is just so contagious, and it went through the whole family. My my wife, she was she was vomiting. My daughter was vomiting. My father-in-law, he, he was vomiting and diarrhea, the grandmother vomiting and diarrhea, and you know, and I was starting to feel it, feel it a little bit as well. Um, so I said, absolutely no way, you know, all sickness and disease comes from the enemy, and it's written in the word that, you know, we've been given authority over all the works of the enemy. So I took authority over that sickness and disease in Jesus' name, and together with my wife, we prayed, prayed over my daughter, both, both my wife and my daughter, even that night come up come up well um i didn't get anything even though I, it felt like it was coming on i went back into my room and i prayed through for about half an hour nothing didn't get it didn't get it praise god didn't get a thing the other other members of the family those idol worshiping buddhas um you know buddhists they they were sick for three days you know and um you know, I, I still believe the Lord. The Lord has me there. You know, still working on the on those people there. You know, and I'm, I tell them about the Lord all the time. And you know, even they said, "Oh, you know, you didn't get sick." And I said, "That's because I went in my room and I prayed, and I took authority in Jesus' name, and I would not uh, allow that that sickness to come and take a hold. There was no way I was going to spend my head in the toilet for three days. So um, yeah, and I just stood on the promises of the Lord. You know, another time, I remember. You know, my, my wife, she had a car, this uh, Subaru, Subaru Liberty, it's called here, yeah, and I think in other parts of the world it's called a Legacy. And it had this weird quarter, quarter glass in the, in the back, back window that would stay on the body. It wouldn't open with the door, and it was really hard getting um, my daughter in and out in the child seat. So she found it really, really difficult, and she was like hurting, hurting her wrists and hurting her back, just trying to get my daughter in and out of this car seat. So we put her, put her car up for sale and um, it was up for sale for months. You know, she dropped the price a couple of times. Earlier on in the piece, there was one guy that called up and said, you know, just in quad oil, you know, have you still got the car? Yeah, yeah, never heard from him back. You know, just a, just a tire kicking time waster. Um, and, and for months we heard nothing. And like I said, she dropped the price a couple of times and, and she was getting really disheartened um, that this car wasn't selling. So I said to her, Let, let's pray about it. And, and she said, oh, oh I, don't, I don't think, didn't think that you could pray about selfish things. And I said, well, what's selfish? You need a different car, you know, it's not suitable. And, you know, you've been injuring yourself just putting our daughter in and out. Let, let's pray. So we, we both got down on our knees, you know, knelt down next to the bed and we called out to God. And, 
you know, I still get emotional about it, even speaking about it, every time I speak about it, because it was just so powerful. And, and together as a couple in unity, you know, husband and wife, um, we cried out to the Lord and asked him to, you know, to help us sell that car. And you know, you know, praise God, the very next day, you know, the very next day, someone rang and were interested in the car. And this was after it was advertised for months and months with, with no interest in it at all. After prayer, the very next day, someone came. They came and had a look at the car and within two days we, we had a bank check in our hand and they were driving off, you know, praise God. And that was just such a great example to my wife who was fairly new um, in the faith that not only prayer but, but prayer together works, you know. Where, where two or more are gathered in my name, so shall I be. And you know, when it says one can put a, a thousand to flight and two can put 10,000 to flight, you know, just a couple of, of examples of, of prayer. It's so important to pray as a family. And you know, as this world gets darker and darker, you know, we need our light to shine even brighter, the light of the Lord that is in us. And you know, again, I know I've been harping on about it, but all through the Bible it's talking about prayer, prayer. pray without ceasing. And you know, praying it, praying in the spirit. The people that that think you know you, you don't need to be praying in tongues and 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 that it's not for today. You know, it's, it's like having your hands tied behind your back. It is so powerful praying in the spirit, and it has just transformed my life. And you know, I've continually get people that that watch my videos. They'll contact me, and I'll Skype with them. We'll pray for baptism of the Holy Spirit, and they'll start speaking in tongues. So again, any of you out there that that wish to to receive that infilling of the Holy Spirit, you know, just, just contact me and I'm more than happy to pray for you guys. But, you know, as a family, guys, you know, if it says, you know, that family that prays together stays together, do you love your family enough to sit down and, and spend time together with the Lord in prayer, in prayer, praying for each other, praying for other people, praying for situations in your life? Again, you have not because you ask not. You know, it, it is so powerful, so important. And like I mentioned again, you fathers out there, you fathers and you husbands, take the lead, take control, you know, and, and instigate this, be that instigator. Sit your family down in prayer, do some Bible study, be that example for your family. So important, guys. And, you know, mothers out there, praying mothers, praying mothers are so, so important in a family life. And like I'll, I'll, I'll show you now, if you're having problems with your, with, your, with your spouse, with your husband or your wife, just continue to hold them up in prayer. Cry out to God. Remember, He loves them even more than what you do. And in, especially when you've got children that have strayed, strayed from the faith or you know, there's such a drug ep epidemic and mental health issues caused out of it now with um, you know, the baby boomers now and the, and the children. You know, as a husband and wife, praying together for your children is going to be so powerful. You know, and just watch the Lord, the Lord move, the move of the Holy Spirit. You know, step out in faith and victory. You know, believing those promises that the Lord said He's He's able to fulfill those promises. You know, so so have faith, have faith, but do your part, do your part in prayer and upholding one another. So, God bless you guys. Um, yeah, have a, have a read of what I've put down in there together with some scriptures. God bless you again. Thank you for watching. And like I said, if any of you guys need some prayer or anything like that, yeah, um, you know, feel free to, to, you know, look me up and I'm more than happy to pray with you guys. Thank you. God bless.
Thank you.